Okay, so as I was saying, what we're going to do tonight, guys, is we are going to do two things. We're going to do some manifestation techniques and we're going to do it through meditation. Okay, we're going to be doing it through meditation. Um, we are going to take the full moon is really all about closing some chapters and opening others. The full moon actually is at its height, by the way, and I believe it is 538 Eastern Daylight Time. So that at PM. So that would be 438 my time central time. It would be 238 Pacific time and then go forward six hours for GMT, right? 1138. So the full moon eclipse itself will actually be at its height before we can ever even see the moon. So we have to remember that. Now, what we're going to do is we're gonna take this full moon lunar eclipse energy and because of its placement, right? Because the sun is in Cancer, the moon is in Capricorn as we speak, we're moving into it very quickly from Sagittarius into Capricorn. This is really centered around what are those things, those belief systems all with some of the other planetary um, placements as well. Some of the things spiritually, emotionally, and physically we've believed about ourselves that we need to take care of, that we need to, um, that we need to either get rid of old ideas that we've held on to that are no longer serving us, maybe some new ideas that really aren't serving us that we thought were the right thing to do, but it turns out it ain't. Um, that sort of thing. Hold, let go of those. Those things that were pat, were spoken over you, release them. And instead, we're going to replace all of that with belief in self, okay? And we're going to go through a meditative um, process today where we're going to create in our sacral chakra that which we truly desire to have. You know, those dreams and aspirations and all of those things, that life that we've truly desired, this, this desire to create, we're going to create that in our sacral chakra. And then, and during our meditative time, we're going to move it up to our third eye and utilize um, the uh, tone, which is the God tone. It is the creative tone. It is the creative universal tone. It's the tone of the third eye that sees all. Yes. So we're going to go out and send that out into the universe today. So very powerful time today. All right. What I want to do first is I want to give you. So as you can see on the screen, I have the uh, chakra system okay up on the screen on that graphic right now what i want you to do right now if you haven't done it already i want you to think about right now some things that were spoken over you that you've believed just to be true or even some spiritual truths maybe maybe you're releasing some other spiritual truths you know, maybe, you know, you're releasing some religious dogmas. Maybe you're releasing some spirituality dogmas. Maybe you're recognizing that not every the, everything that you thought it was is as it is, right? And maybe you're just kind of doubting some things about yourself or whatever it is. But I need, I want you to release, I want you to write that stuff down. Okay, let's write down what we're going to release. Jupiter is visible right next to the moon also. Oh, I'll have to go out and look tonight. I bet that's what I was seeing last night with the naked eye. I want you to really write down some things that you need to release, okay? You have some paper, write down some things you need to release on one side. And then we're going to, these are chapters that are closing. 
So, um, for instance, there is there are there's some individuals, and I'm not going to put their names down, who I need to release. And really, what it is is, I am not responsible for everyone. Okay, that is something I need to release. I am not responsible for everyone. That's a hard one for me because I'm a healer, right? I need to release that. So think of a couple of things that you actually need to release. And I wanna give you a couple of moments to write those things down because we're going to concentrate on releasing those first. And then on the other side, we're going to write down things we're going to manifest or in the other part of your paper. Because later on, when we're done, all these things that we're releasing on this side of the page, right? You're going to rip this page in half. We're going to burn those. Th these got to go. Okay, these got to go. This side we're going to keep, right? Um, I'm just writing down. So have you guys written down? Have you guys written down the stuff you need to release yet? Okay. Once you've written down things you need to release, I want you to go to your other side and I want you to put down things you're going to manifest. Okay. Hey, hey, purple lover. So I want you to write on the other side, for those of you just joining, we're taking a sheet of paper. I hope you did this before you came in, if you saw it on my community tab. We're taking a sheet of paper on what, we're gonna fold it in half. On one side, what we need to release, things that have been spoken over us, beliefs that don't serve us any longer, so on and so forth. We're gonna release that. People, maybe, concepts, spiritual concepts, all that kind of stuff. That's what we're releasing because we're going to tear this sheet in half and the side that stuff that we need to release, we're going to release, okay? We're going to burn that bad boy. And then on this side, though, we're going to write things that we want to manifest. So anything that's going to, whatever your best life looks like, right? that life that you wish to manifest. And you could just choose one or two things right now. It doesn't have to be everything right now. Let's just choose, let's choose a few things, okay? Okay. Okay, we're gonna give you guys a few more moments to take care of that, okay? And then we're gonna, it's good to see you as well. And then we're going to talk about that chakra. It's over. <laughs> I don't know where it is on the screen. Wherever it is on the screen, okay? Like, over, over here. <laughs> we're going to talk about this chakra. Um chart okay in just a second because we're going to get into our meditation
<laughs> okay, I want you guys to write down the things you want to manifest. We're going to use the full moon solar uh, lunar eclipse energy to also bring in. We don't always only want to just close chapters right we also want to open new doors right yeah over here i got it i'm using a, a different software than i originally started using for streaming so i have to get used to the fact that this one doesn't flip my camera image all right i want you guys to put hearts in here when you have written down both the things that you need to let go of and things you wish to manifest, all right? This is all about our own internal truth, living our truth, finally admitting to and um, finally saying, you know what, I'm going to focus on me. I'm going to focus on what it is that I know I'm called to do. I'm going to focus on what it is I know I'm supposed to do. I'm going to focus on all of that good stuff, right? You want the garage door to open? Oh, poor baby, your garage door opener is not working. I hate that when that happens. Okay, we got hearts. Let me see a few more hearts, guys, and then we'll get started on, and we'll talk about the chakra chart, and then we're going to get going. I'm not trying to keep y'all all night. I got stuff to do, and you got stuff to do, too. All right, I'm, I'm going to assume... I'm going to assume we're about ready. So this is what we're going to do. I love your hearts, Gemini princess. The first part of our me of our meditation this evening is, like I said, going to be about releasing, right? And I'm sure most of you guys know what this um, chakra chart, what this looks like, right? Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, from the bottom going up. The root chakra in red, right, is at the base of your spine. Hey, Suri. <laughs> it's at the base of your spine. That's your root chakra, okay? Um, we may on Wednesday go into a little bit more about energies. And um, however, for right now, that's like your foundation. That's an area of safety, okay? your root chakra is at the base of your spine. And I'm wanting to point that out because for those of you that haven't been with me yet during the meditation time, we're going to be utilizing our Kundalini energy. I love all the hearts. Yay. Um, we're going to be utilizing our Kundalini energy and that starts at the base of our spine. Okay. Next up is our sacral chakra. Your sacral chakra is located right beneath your belly button, right? It's the area of uh, creation, okay? So your creative organs, if you will, your reproductive organs. The sacral chakra is your seat of creativity. So when we go to manifest these things on your list that you've written down, we're going to place them, once we get to the height of the emotion, we're going to place them in our sacral chakra or in our seat of creativity. All right. The next one up is your solar plexus or your power center. The next one up is your heart chakra. So what I'm asking you to grab the emotion, right? The energy that's there that you're putting into motion for it, for manifestation, 
you're going to feel it in your heart chakra. Then is your throat chakra. From your throat chakra, we are going to speak in a whisper the tone of creation, the tone of God, God tone, universe tone. Uh, all right. Uh, and don't worry about it. I actually have something here. Hopefully you'll be able to hear it. That's going to give us that ah tone when we're ready. That's going to come from your throat chakra. What's going to get activated then is your third eye chakra. That ah tone activates both your third eye and your crown, but mainly your third eye. So what we're going to do, and I'm explaining this now so you understand when we get into it, okay, is we're going to place what we desire in our sacral chakra. And then with our Kundalini energy, we're going to move it up, 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 up to our third eye, which is right here. Okay, and at the very top then is our crown chakra, and that is the entrance through which we speak with the spiritual realm. Above that is the cow chakra, but we'll talk about that another time. Okay, all right, guys, are we good? I'm so excited. Okay, so I am going to. Okay, let me know if that water is too loud, please. Let me know if the water is too loud. Let me know if the water is too loud. Okay, here we go, guys. So everyone, please be seated now. We're going to get started. Sit up straight if you can. Feet on the floor if you can. Hands on your knees. The first part of this meditation, we're going to release emotions, feelings, ideations about ourselves that are not true. Hey, we're going to release that first, okay? All right. Let's close our eyes. We put this Let's close our eyes. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out.
become aware of the top of our head, aware of our face, aware of the back of our head, aware of our neck, aware of our shoulders, Aware of our arms. Aware of our hands. Aware of our chest. Aware of our abdomen. Aware of our hips. Aware of our thighs. Aware of our lower legs. And our feet. Now open up your crown chakra. Allowing love and light in. Strong column of love. Strong column of light comes in through your crown chakra. Passes through your third eye. Passes through your throat chakra. Through your heart chakra. Through your solar plexus chakra. Through your sacral chakra, down through your root chakra, through your legs, and the soles of your feet. Ashen toxins. <coughs> Toxic energy, fear, doubt, shame, disbelief, low self esteem. Lack, poverty, unlovable, unworthy, crazy, worthless. All of those ideas, all of those statements, all of those feelings that were put upon us, we release them into the stream of love and light. We wash our mind, we reset the program. We forgive those who spoke that over us. We forgive ourselves for believing. We release it and allow it to wash out. We 
into our spiritual body and out the soles of our feet. Releasing that energy so it can be recycled. Now everything that you wrote down, one by one, that you wish to release, make that statement an image and see it with your third eye. See it with your heart. Allow yourself to feel how that feels. Allow yourself to have the emotion. And then recognize that that emotion is an emotion from the past. Look at it. It holds no weight over you. Look at it. It holds no control over you. You are an independent, beautiful, handsome, divine being. Take each of those thoughts and those emotions. Look at them. They're from the past. They can no longer hurt you. You no longer need to defend yourself. You no longer need to hold on to that for safety. Look at it. Feel it. And let it wash. That love and light each one, one, Replace that emotion with love. Place that emotion with positive, creative, divine knowledge, wisdom, joy, and Using the forgiveness ritual each one. In the forgiveness ritual. And as you release each negative image of yourself, feel your solar plexus. Feel your power come back. Feel the healing in your sacred chakra. Feel the renewal in your root. Feel the repair of your very foundation. As you release each, every belief about yourself, I 
and then feel that healing coming up to your heart chakra. Warming your heart from the bottom. Repairing the cracks. Pouring into the crevices. Making your heart chakra strong. Making it a strong gateway through which universal life energy can Feel your spiritual roots going deeper and deeper into the earth. Feel your connection to this world strengthen as your spiritual connection strengthens upward. Now, turn your attention to what you wish to manifest. Utilize this energy that's here right now in the universe to assist you on your manifestation journey. Utilize it to help you create your life. Take each item Visualize it, see it, whisper each item out, and as you whisper each thing that you wish to manifest, each piece to your world, as you speak it with your throat chakra, place it in your heart chakra and feel the emotion of having it. Envision yourself in truth. The truth being you already possess it. The truth being you are about to attract it into this realm. Each item, each thought, each piece, your most perfect world, place it in your heart. Believe it. See yourself living that life. See yourself living that life. See yourself living. How does it feel? What do you look like? What are you wearing? Feel the self esteem. Feel the joy and the peace. See how others are interacting with you. And at the height of your emotion, when you can see it clearly, place it in your sacral chakra. And as you place it in your sacral chakra, allow love and light and universal life force Enter into your sacral chakra, the seat of creation. Keep that 
we feed that desire, feed that seed that you have placed in your sacral. Concentrate energy there. Concentrate with the energy. Putting your energy there, placing each item in your sacral chakra as a seed. Feel your creative energy increase and increase. As the life energy of the universe flows through you and with you because you are a part of it. Now it must be created because you, as a co creator, have deemed it so. Now, go to your root chakra, activate your kundalini energy, bring it up your spine. In your sacral chakra and take that which you are manifesting, bring it up as your Kundalini energy brings it up. Ask your solar plexus. Through your heart, through your throat, and place it in your third eye. Get up, get up, bring the Kundalini energy up your spine. That is the energy you possess, the divine energy of creation. As you place your desired manifestation in your third eye, I'm going to be frequency of life itself, God frequency of the third eye. You can whisper this yourself while it is playing. Oh. Uh -huh. 
of Remember this emotion, remember this frequency, put it all in. It is being attracted to you. Energy is being reformed, it is being brought into. Now we are going to be of our lower legs. Chakra. 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 
और वो तो है As you're coming back, what you going to do Going to take that paper that we had written down those things we wish to release. And you don't have to do it right now. I don't want anybody setting fire to their house. Okay? But I'm going to take my paper, right? And I'm ripping up what I need to release. And I have a little thing, you know, that I have. It's for my sage I burn. But I'm going to take it outside and I'm going to burn it. Right? And we're going to get rid of the ashes. What I recommend is even with smudging. So if you happen to smudge something, like if I were to break some of this sage off and use it to smudge, um, you know, just put it in something that, um, sometimes, you know, when you're clearing your crystals and whatnot, you might smudge it, you know, put it, kind of sit it in there. Um, I usually, what I do is I take some aluminum foil and I burn whatever it is in the aluminum foil and then all the ashes, I close it up once it's out and then throw it away. So if you're going to do any type of ritualistic like that, um, that's what I would do. If you have a sage wand like this, like I do, I will most likely do it now. I'm just going to sage the words to cleanse, to further cleanse it. And you don't have to do this, but sometimes it's really nice just to have a physical representation of that which we're doing in the spirit realm. So I'm just going to kind of sage over it. Actually going to feel what I'm manifesting. So I'm kind of smudging that a little bit. But later on, what I'll do with this is I'll take these ashes and I'll put them into my aluminum foil and I will get rid of them. I hope this has been helpful and this has been illuminating and this has been okay guys you know i don't stay on long when i've done this so i really want to thank all of you guys for participating i really do appreciate it our little monday manifestation group is growing and i'll be really happy i'm so happy that it is because it's really nice to meditate together um, Leah, the full moon, my birthday tomorrow, um, I might come on later, I might not, but anyway, peace, love, blessings, and joy, be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you guys. Bye-bye.